In a couple previous videos, I showed how to hook up the ice maker water line from the wall to the refrigerator. Um, and in this particular one, it's going to focus on adding the ice maker uh, to the freezer itself with a couple tips uh, when setting these up for the first time or, or running them after a long Welcome time. back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. I'm not sure which one I should record, that one or this one. <laughs> I think they're both good. <laughs> So on this one, the shelf was too high, just needed to be lowered to the next spot down. Uh, most of your ice makers will come with the mounting screws. This one, uh, the ice maker had been removed uh, pr prior, and so just was adding it to the screws that were already there. Just loosen them up and slip the, the ice maker over the screws. And just positioning the fill tube down into the ice maker itself. Plugging it in. Tighten the mounting screws, just finger tighten. Finger tight. And now verify that the water's on. And then we'll be ready to turn it on. This one, the water line was already hooked up. And now we can flip it on. And to check it, we can advance the arm by pulling the harvester arm all the way up and over. It gets it closer to the start position. The paddle will start to swing out as it goes through the, the time timing, but that makes it much faster to be able to check if it's working properly. I'll sp cut to it as it does take a, a couple minutes still, but that's how you can do it a lot faster. And how you can check if an ice maker is working. On this particular kind anyway. But this works for most ice makers. It, most of them have, you'll see a lot of them with the wire arm for turning it off or turning it on. I kind of like this paddle version as uh, I think it has a little bit, a little bit stronger build. I haven't had too many problems with this brand. This is a GE ice maker. So. But here I'll cut to, to it to make it a little bit faster. So now the paddle has started to swing over, and here comes the fill. <laughs> and that's why you want to make sure to dump the ice for the first 48 hours. You definitely don't want any of that in your beverages. A quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are, you should find a bunch of different material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs. There is a plan for us to burn what we see. This is why it's called a planet. It's a planet. It's a plan. It's a plan for this planet. i
suffered and died for us Took all our garbage upon himself Gives us his righteousness